Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden, and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness, in which we'll have our drawing at the end of the video. But first, let's have our shout out to Carol, Sherry, Nadine, Patty, Julie, and Colleen. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm going to set this aside. Let me make a little bit of room here. So I was playing around, and I do not know if this is a thing. I just decided I wanted different pages or in different colors, different things on a page. And I thought, well, why don't we combine our papers like we do a snippet roll? So I'm going to call this page snippet roll. <laughs> for lack of something else to call it. So I am thinking of making pages and so I made a page snippet roll and I trimmed it to a page size. So my page is five inches by eight inches. That's what this is. And I made a little signature to show you what I was talking about. So here on this first page I've got some coffee dyed solid paper, some lined paper, and two different shades of coffee dyed paper. We turn it, and we've got just a tiny little strip of, actually this uh, digital is right here, coffee dyed paper, lined paper, another digital, coffee dyed paper, and a different digital. I think that looks gorgeous. All right, so the next page. We've got coffee dyed, we've got a digital, we've got lined coffee dyed loose leaf paper, and we've got some coffee dyed paper. Then we're going to turn it to the center. Oh my goodness, look at this one. It happened that we've got the same on either side. We've got a little bit of lined coffee dyed page here and some coffee dyed copy paper there. Each page is a little different. I absolutely love how this has turned out. Now, I know it's extremely simple, but to make a journal and have your signatures pages look like this, I think it just really opens up some things that you can do with them, with the pages. So let me show you how I made this. This is very simple. This isn't complicated. You could use up your scraps. You could make them any size you wanted. I am working on a project and I'm making small ones. And so then I decided, well, why don't we make a big one and do it for this video right here for the Kathy Sewing Happiness. And then when I do make my project, you'll kind of understand what I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring in some pages. I've got some digitals. Now maybe you have paper pads. Whatever it is that you have will be perfect. So you're going to want some prints. Okay, some different prints. Now, if you're making a journal, you could actually use the papers in which you want for your colors of that journal. Maybe you're using greens, maybe you're using yellows and greens, maybe you're using whatever it is that you're using. You could use those papers and make yourself a page snippet roll grouping like this for your junk journal. So we've got this. So this one I've taken the border off. I've taken the border off this one and these two pages right here. I've taken the border off of these pages. I would need to take the border off of this. I have actually already cut a few pages. So mine happened to be all coffee dyed on the back. And then that way you can get the different colors of coffee dyed paper when you turn it. So, so you get a flowing like that. So they're just different digitals that I have cut. And the way I determined how I was going to cut it was for this one, this project, I just basically took a 8 by 11 sheet of paper and folded it in half. And I needed my pages to be approximately 
that width. You see what I mean? This one's a little shorter, but you can still work with it. Do you understand what I mean? Alrighty, so <clears throat> the next thing I did was I cut these pages. I took a page just like this. So let me show you. And I got my guillotine. And I just cut some pages. Now, none of the pages are five inches wide because then the whole page would be uh, the one digital. And I was trying to get different colors and patterns and things on one page. So we've got our collection of pages. I'm going to start by taking my page and I'm going to lay it on my grid this way because my, my um, page snippet roll is going to get longer so it's going to have to go over the edge of my desk here to keep going. So let's begin. I have my art glitter glue. You use the glue of your choice. And <clears throat> I'm going to uh, kind of line this on a, a grid mark. And I've been doing about a half an inch of glue. And then I'm going to select something else. Let's select this. And actually, this is just coffee dyed paper on both sides. And I'm going to lay this right on top. You can see I'm doing about a half an inch. I'm pulling it down just so it's about right. Okay. So we've got that. So we've started. We have begun. Okay. Next I'm going to turn this over. <clears throat> and I want to put a pattern page right here. So adding my glue right on here like this. And then adding my little decorative strip right on here. Pressing it down. I'm going to turn it over here. And how about if we do a book page, a lined paper, notebook paper, whatever it's called. I'm not quite sure what we call that. But it's coffee dyed. So let's add that for some interest. It's a little shorter, but that's okay. We're going to trim it up. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to show you how I cut it and how we get it into um, a signature type of grouping. How about if we do this one? And I think I'm going to actually do it on this side. I'm not going to turn it over. Adding my glue. Now, why I'm doing this, and you're watching me do this, I'm going to tell you what is hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness. It is you helping me spread happiness through simple acts of kindness. Letting someone in line of traffic because nobody else will let anybody in. Letting someone go ahead of you at the grocery store because you have 20 items and they only have one. We don't know what other people are going through. And sometimes just a simple act of kindness will give them just enough hope to just keep going just enough to just keep going. So in the comments section of the most recent Kathy Sewing Happiness video, that's very important if you want to enter into the drawing, you must be on the most recent Kathy Sewing Happiness video. Tell us your act of kindness in the comment section of the video. If you wish not to say what your act of kindness is, that's okay too. Just type in the word spreading happiness and that will be your entry into the drawing. Now, if you enter into the drawing, please check back next Sunday to see if your name has been pulled out of the fishbowl. Because if it's been pulled out of the fishbowl, that means you have one happy mail from me to you as my way of paying it forward. Now there is down below in the comment or the description area. 
there is information on how you can enter into the drawing and how you're going to get your address to me. After we have our drawing, I do wish that uh, ask that you please don't say, oh, congratulations, so-and-so, so-and-so, for, for winning. Because what that does is two things. One, it takes away them seeing that they've won. That is very exciting. Even if it is just having mail, there is something about having your name pulled out and say you won. That's very exciting. So that takes that excitement away from them. And also, sometimes they'll just look at the comments section and they'll see that they won and then they just won't realize that they have to get their address to me or they're not going to get their happy mail. So there they are thinking they're getting happy mail and they get all upset with me because they didn't get happy mail, but I didn't get their address. <laughs> so please don't say so-and-so, so-and-so, congratulations. You can just say congratulations, congratulations to the winner of happy mail. You could say that. And then, then they will have to look to see, oh, did I win? And then if you win, please look down below to see how you are going to get your address to me. So that's all there is to it, guys. Now, I am behind a couple of happy mails. Don't worry, I am uh, getting them to you. I've just been so very busy, but they are, uh, they, are, they are going to be mailed right away, you guys. So that's what that happiness, Kathy Sewing Happiness, is all about, you guys. It's you helping me spread happiness through simple facts of kindness towards other people. All right, so here we have our age snippet roll. Look at this. That didn't take very long at all. There's that side. I'll flip it over. And then there's this side. Now, what we're doing is we're making a page, and it's going to be about five inches, um, you know, like this one, five inches across after it's folded. This is about five inches. So I've got my snippet, snippet roll. I'm going to turn it this way now. And I am going to just see, okay, I think I should glue that a little bit more right there. I think we can fold this just like this. Well, let's make it easier on ourselves and fold it a little more. There we go. Give it a crease. Okay. Now, I can either put that in my guillotine and cut it, or I can simply take my scissors and trim it. Just like that. Now we're going to take this and we're going to bend it to be five inches. Approximately five inches. And fold it. And then give this a trim. Okay, now we'll take this one and we'll fold it to be about five inches, about, okay. And then we're going to give this a trim. Okay, now I've got three pages doing, doing that sh uh, short amount of time. I've got three pages. I am going to bring in my larger guillotine because I'm going to trim this up a little bit. So I need it to be trimmed. So I'm not making this particular one for any project. I just uh, am doing it for an example. I was chewing just a little bit because the glue is still wet, but we got it done. Okay, let's trim this. Okay, let's trim this one. Let's see here. Yeah, this one needs to be trimmed a little bit more. Let's mark it here that the uh, other measurement is pretty good. Yeah, that's really good. Now let's see, how does this one do? Once you get one done, you can use it to mark the others, especially if you're making it for a 
specific size cover or pages that you need for your journal. All right, we've got those all cut. Now let's just see how we can combine this and how beautiful it will turn out. I mean, simply just gluing our pages together like that. All right, let's just say this is our little signature. So here we have that, that looks nice together. <clears throat> and we have this one and this one. Oh, that one's pretty. So maybe you'd want to go this way. You know, it, you'd have to, you can mix them up and see what pages look good with what. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that one too. And this one needs to be glued down just a little more. But you get the idea. So you can actually change them up. So make it like that and see how that turns out. So they, you can just see, you can decide how they go together. Oh, that's from the same digital kit right there. I think this is super cool. <clears throat> this one has a few more pages. Oh, let's put these in here with this one. How about this? Let's do this. Let's put this here. I'm just very, very interested. This one here. Let's turn this one the other way. Okay, and then this one here. Nope, I want it this way. Okay, now let's see what this looks like. Now one signature is a little bigger than the other. I've mixed them, but that's okay. We can get the idea of how this would look as a page snippet roll made into a signature. <laughs> I love it. I just think it's super cool. I really do. I am definitely doing this in a project that's coming up that I'm going to share with all of you. I hope you've enjoyed that. So let's go ahead and have our drawing for Happy Mail. So I've already explained to you how you can enter two ways. Tell me your act of kindness in the comment section of the most recent Happy Sewing Happiness video. Or if you if you wish not to send your act of kindness, simply type in the two words, spreading happiness, and then that will be your entry. All these people entered last Sunday. I hope they're back this Sunday to see who has won Happy Mail this week from me to you as my way of paying it forward. And the winter, winner, the winter, the winner is... Bobby Swartz. Bobby, you've won Happy Mail from me to you as my way of paying it forward. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please give me a thumbs up. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.